That'll get rid of some weight. So we just got a call for a Jeep that is currently taking a bath out here on the Horseshoe Bend area of the Pipeline Road. So we're going to head out here with the wrecker and see if we can get it out. We've got Tom here with the weather. Howdy, it's a beautiful day. It's like 55, clear, sunny, calm. It's going to be a good one. Got Jamie back there. What are you here for? I just heard Wright was going to have to go for a bath. <laughs> so I thought I, this sounded like a super exciting recovery I had to come see. Alright, we're all loaded up. Jamie's driving us in there. What a treat. This is a squeeze. Now Matt knows what it feels like to sit in the middle. I'm just hovering here. The middle here. seat. He's levitating. <laughs> My spot has been chosen for the day. It is on the toolbox on the back of the wrecker. So. How's it going? It's good. Alright. She says it's good. Give us some gas. Go. Let's go. There's no cops out here. I just didn't want to throw Lizzie off now. We're just following Matt out with the wrecker to get a Jeep out of the a mud puddle. Looks like it sunk pretty good. Looks way worse than even George's was sunk. Um, Rhett is here and guess what Rhett gets to do? I'm in swimming trunks, so I'm the one that gets to climb into the water and hook up the Jeep so we can pull it out. And you might be saying, is it that warm out there? No, it's not. I'm wearing a jacket for a reason. Jamie go. I just coasted down uh, that. You okay, Lizzie? Okay. I don't think you could throw Lizzie if you wanted to. So they sent me a picture. This thing is buried up to the windows in the water. Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. It looks bad. We're getting close now. Tell us what happened, what was going on? My grandson said, drive in the water, Grandpa. And, and I drove in the water. End, huh? I drove in the water. I thought, that's 16 inches deep, but it's closer to 16 feet. This is cold. <laughs> Just go one at a time, right? I was going to ask where that light went. Who did that? Okay, let's set up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Rhett, let's get, we're going to need to get that through on the other side. So, has this moved at all? Yeah, they said that it was closer to the windows. Yeah. Oh, that's a warm spot. What kind of, what kind of strap broke? flat yellow ones. Oh. oh. That's what happened to the back of the door with the tail. That's all. So I like, I like the twin line. The reason we built this with a twin line is because you can walk them like this. And it, this is a, one of those things where the sum is greater than the, or the hole is greater than the sum of the parts. Because you can walk, you can kind of wiggle them around things and in and out of things side to side. 
It's working awesome right now. I use my big boy muscles. take this back to the water tanks we're gonna call a roll back in and take it back to the yard let insurance deal with it I'm pretty sure this is a total so yeah oh. George somebody's outdone you I think this is deeper yeah, a lot deeper. don't challenge him like that yeah. <laughs> agreed to ride with Rhett, but that's before I knew about this. You want to take off your shoes too? Huh? Found it. Oh, you did. Aha! Awesome. Count to 35. All right, this is going to be a soggy wet ride out of here. This little towel did nothing for me. I'm already soaked. How's it going? Good. Hopefully we get moving here pretty fast. It's so hard you, to... So you can steer? Yeah. That was a pretty good pull right there. The Morvair would have struggled on that, but the record just crawls up this stuff. Holder up here, this little pocket is all full of water. Well, I didn't get to see Rhett take a bath. We got there and people had already started helping him, so he just got his got to wade his feet a little bit, but that's okay. It was still a good job. He can't sit in my Bronco though, because he's sitting in a wet seat there, so he has to ride in the back. <laughs> Jeep so that the roll bar can just back right up to him and now we're gonna unhook it. My question is why do we have a starter in here? That's some precision driving. I'm late for a hair appointment. Jamie says she's gonna disown me if I don't get this done. It's mostly a beard appointment. I'm gonna get this fixed. All right, so if you're asking why I'm here, it's because Matt is busy trying to get the banana ready for Easter Jeep Safari. He's putting the new axle under it right now, but we got a call for a truck and trailer that are stuck in on Sheep Ridge Road. Check out these new Matt's Off-Road Recovery Coats. They are awesome. They are great. I love them. They'll keep you nice and warm. Unfortunately, Greg forgot his. Greg has not been given one yet. I've got to get one still. Whose fault is that? 
get yours at mattsoffroadrecovery.com. try and help guide the back of your truck and if you start slipping let's just try and get you hooked up and then once you're hooked up then we'll try pulling you out of here hey when you're turning try not to make such sharp turns try and make longer turns because you're dragging your front tire a little bit okay? okay but you're looking i think you'll be able to hook right back up up second okay go ahead slow and keep that angle slow back you got about that far well right there i'm not gonna clean up ground and just pull out of here yeah. <laughs> you might be on dry ground and not even need my help <laughs> hey we're coming off the ground back on the truck hopefully we're on dry ground now so we can just drive straight out of here but if not we can assist it with the more bear so if you want to go ahead and try i think if we can get you right through here, we might be able to get you out. So if you want to try so want and drive to, forward. So you want me to try and come <laughs> like here? Yep. Follow me around, try and keep your tires from spinning, and I don't want you to sink down in. We'll just put light pressure and try and pull you on out. Okay. All so right. We'll this tire here. And the trailer head. Yeah, watch the trailer. I don't want to jackknife them. throttle <laughs> well appreciate it yeah no problem Oop. all right there you go man cool. all right thanks <laughs> that was a really easy job got there got him out that guy was awesome thanks for watching i told you